Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. Today it's a lunch and learn and I have a new topic for you. It says, what you got? What else you got? Um, hello, my name is Angie Newby, Angela Newby professionally. Um, and I'm a retired teacher here in Kentucky and a realtor and I'm here to educate you on what's out there in terms of loans and home updates and all the craziness in the real estate market. So let's get started right away. Um, if you did, did not watch live, I have it pinned right now um, in the groups. You can watch last week's um, episode if you'd like, because that one, um, I really broke down a really great new program for all first time home buyers. And really the definition for first time home buyer is if you've not purchased in the last three years. So if you've not purchased in the last three, three years, um, you've bought before, but not in the last three years, you haven't bought a home or you've never bought a home, you're considered a first time home buyer. So there's a really great program out for you. Um, so watch that. I don't want to go into that on this episode because I have new information for you here. So watch that and it really, really will um, make you happy. Okay. Um, this episode, I'm going to tell you what else have we've got for first time home buyers, because you may or may not be aware of this. You don't know about these programs. Um, so there are several different ways that, that a first time home buyer can buy a house and these different programs, some of them are um, government um, options for you and some are not. So let me put on my reading glasses because I'm old so I can read these to you and um, so I don't miss any of them. Okay. First of all, we have the traditional conventional loan. Um, that's the one where a lot of people have said you need to have 20% down and only borrow 80%. That's true. That is a really, really strong conventional loan. But did you know that you can get a conventional loan for as little as 3% down? You can. I have a lender that does that for you. So if you'd like um, her information, let me know and I'll, I'll connect you with that. A conventional loan speaks really highly to a seller because it really validates that you're ready to go, that you um, have good credit and that you have a good um, good means to purchase the home. So they're a little bit harder to qualify for, but I would I always recommend everyone start there and then we can go through the process and see what else is out there for you. Secondly, we have an FHA loan. FHA loan is a government um, loan and it is um, it requires three and a half percent down payment. So that's not that's not bad at all. Those loans are if you have a home that is in very, very um, a rough state, so there's not there's going to be a lot of repairs. It may not be able to be approved with that because with FHA and another loan that I'll tell you about in a minute, um, there's a, an appraisal that goes through and it has to pass that appraisal or it has to you have to have the seller would have to have those repairs done before closing. So that is an FHA loan. Also, there is a rural housing loan. This is for areas that there, there's, there's certain areas, an eligible area. Um, it doesn't always have to be way out in the country, but it is usually in smaller towns. So you'll want to check with me or your lender to see if, um, what home, what areas, um, that, that you want to have your home search in if you want to qualify for that. The great thing about a rural housing loan is it's funded a hundred percent. So there's no down payment. So that's a really, really good option if you're someone who doesn't have a down payment at all. Um, likewise, a VA loan, if you've served in the military, you could qualify for a VA loan. Again, 100% financing, no money down required, um, but you do have to be a veteran. So there's that. And there also is the requirement for the home to pass the appraisal without, you know, the, the safety issues. Really with FHA and VA, all they want is they want the home to be able to be lived in and be safe. For the new buyer because they know that you probably don't have a lot of money for repairs after you close, hence the no down payment. Um, and they don't want you saddled with that at repair. So they require the home to be in good, safe condition for you. So it's a good thing. It's just that if you're looking for, you know, maybe if you're wanting an old farmhouse or something that's going to, you know, from the 1910s or something, it's probably not going to pass a VA or an FHA loan. Um, so you can also with with 
Kentucky Housing Corporation, we can use the FHA loan, the VA, VA loan, and the rural housing um, and add a down payment assistance program loan um, up to $10,000 to help you as well. So my lender has all of these programs. The lender that I know, love, and trust and send um, family and friends to. So definitely clients are my friends. So if you would like to know more about these programs and get started, I um, encourage you to contact me so we can get you started on your home search. It's really fun. It's a great time to be looking. There are um, more and more listings every day, but there aren't as many buyers out right now. So that kind of will improve your chances if, in case you get into multiple, multiple offer situations. I've had a lot of success with first time home buyers lately. And I really want to encourage you, instead of spending money on rent, which is actually building your landlord's wealth, I want you to build your own wealth for you and your family by getting the home, start paying on that mortgage so you can pay yourself that um, investment, okay? So let's connect and let me help you do that. And um, I'll talk to you next week. Have a great week. Bye.